Alrighty, tubers, we're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do some electrical work to show you guys what I'm doing here. So I've got this really nice cord. I think it's about 50 foot. The actual cord itself, I believe, is 12 gauge. It's a really good heavy duty cord. I've had it for a little while. I can't even remember where I got it. Let's see, it is. I don't see the rating on it. 12 gauge. So it's really good heavy duty cord, but two out of the three plugs on this really don't make a good connection anymore. In fact, I was just using it and these plugs are slightly warm to the touch. They're bad, they're done. Um, instead of cutting that off and replacing it with one of these guys and making it just a regular cord, we're gonna go ahead and build something today. Let's go ahead and show you. Cut this guy off. That's gone. No more. Go ahead and cut this guy back a little ways. Put about here. These are handy cuts, by the way, made by Craftsman. There's a lot of different companies that have copied the design now, but they work really good. And yes, they will cut through fine copper. What we're going to do today is build a box with not three but four plugs in it. And I would suggest doing this with a 12 or a 10 or larger gauge. Um, if you're talking like 16 gauge, like really thin stuff, like this stuff. I would not suggest doing that because it's not going to carry enough and you're going to cause a fire. The fact that this originally had a three plug on it and I'm just adding a plug with a fourth, there should be no issue with it. So I'm going to go ahead and build it into this box. This works really well. This is going to hold the, actually hold the cable so it doesn't get yanked out of the back of these guys. I went down to Home Depot and picked up all this stuff. All in all, box, plugs, everything under, under $10. So very affordable. All right. Go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and pick which one we're gonna use here. They're a little different. This is this one is big in the center. This one is small in the center. Big, small. So we're gonna pick out one of the small ones, put it right in the center. How you take care of these guys? Just hit them. Grab a pair of pliers. Just bend it back and forth. And that guy is out. This guy will press right in. Yeah. There we go. So that guy's in. We're going to run our cord through here. Like so we'll go ahead and run it down. So here's our plugs that we got. We just got the cheaper one. This uh, face is set up to where these actually will screw through and hold these plugs to the, this face. That's the way that this box is set up. There are some boxes that you can get that you can screw these into the box itself. But if you get this style of box, make sure you get that style of face or else these will not get mounted to anything. All right, before we mount these faces in, we do need to link these together and get them wired up with this guy. I'm actually going to use some of this wire. Grab a little bit of wire, stripped out longer. If I need to cut that down, I can. Um, it's not gonna hurt me to lose less than a foot here. So this is one side, this is the other side. 
Yep. So we will, yeah, we'll link them. We'll link these together. Give me a second. Alrighty, we got those guys all wired up together. As you can see there, multi-strand wires, hard to work with. I will show you how to make this junction here in a second. But as you can see, they're all wired up together the way they should be. We're going to be running power into this guy. We also will need to run a negative from here to here to make sure we've got negative on both. Or rather, ground. Have a ground on both outlets. So let's show you how to make one of those little junctions. I think we got too much wire here, but that's okay. Um, so what you do, I'm just going to show you on this wire. You go a ways down the wire, as you can see. On, well, as you can see I did on that one. Go about that far down. You start stripping it back. But you don't, you gotta be careful because you don't want to pull it off. You simply want to pull it back. You open this guy up a little bit. So you got something like that. I'm gonna twist it backwards. So if you're looking at it this way, counterclockwise, this way. strand there. Being careful not to have that come off. And then you put it in like that. Down and around. You want it to match up like that on either side. You tighten your screw down. Flathead. Twisting it and doing it like that makes a really nice connection. It's really hard to work with stranded wire and have it look nice and not be all crazy. This one got a little crazy because the wire stripper actually cut into it so we're gonna have that on the outer edge so they don't touch each other so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy wired up what we're gonna do is run the white on this side black on that side and then that's going to make the junction there over to this one so we're gonna have four so I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys done Get them into here and then we'll put this box together. Alrighty, so we got it all done here. Yes, you're going to notice that I've got black and white on the same side. The, the wires in the box are incorrect and the wires coming into the box and going into this are correct. White is on the left, black is on the right. I thought I had it wrong. I looked, up, looked it up online as I was wiring it. I did have it wrong, but I was not going to take these wires off and swap them. So. This is technically a white wire going to this side, and vice versa. But the actual wires coming into the box, white's going here, black's going here, as it should. That ground is not the prettiest because I had to double stack them, but it is there and it is tight. So I'm going to go ahead and get these outlets in the face, and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got those faces all mounted up there. I'm going to flip these around so they're not the same way the cord is. But I'm going to also tighten down that cord first. Make sure it don't go anywhere. There's a better cable holders for stuff like this out there. I can't remember. I looked all around Home Depot for them. I couldn't find them. I've seen them before. I'm not sure where, maybe online. But they've got a piece that also holds onto the cord. It comes out a little bit, protects it a little bit better. But this will work. So we're gonna go ahead. 
ahead. Flip this guy around. Just taking a look inside, make sure everything's looking happy. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy screwed down. This will be a really nice plug to have here. Really nice plug to work with. Got four outlets on it. Again, I would not suggest building this box if you have anything less than a 12 gauge. You're just gonna ask too much of that cable. I also got the box that has it rounded so it doesn't catch on anything, it's nice and smooth. Well, she's done. That is a built plug. Let's go ahead and plug it in and then plug something into it. We'll test it here. Alrighty, got it plugged in. Gonna be plugging in a thousand watts. There's a thousand watts running there. All right, we can plug in another I think this is another 500 watts. Can you hear that generator in the background taking the load? But hey, it works friggin' awesome. About $10 to build it. These outlets at Home Depot were 88 cents a piece. The face, I think, was another $2.50 or something like that. And then the box, I think, was five, four, Three, four, five dollars, something like that. I'm very happy with it. I think that will last me for many years to come. There's plenty of space between the back of this and those plugs and all of their connectors. So, sweet tubers, I hope you enjoyed. Hope uh, this video helps you out. If anything in the near future you guys want to build something like this have maybe a, a power port that doesn't have one of these on it and it's 12 or 10 gauge and you want to build a four plug on the end of it um, the price of this is about half the price or two of these is the price of that so yeah I think that's it tubers um, you can look me up on Instagram and Facebook all those links are going to be in the description really easy for you guys you can just click on through um, I'll see what I can do I'll see what I can do about uh, linking all of this on Amazon so if you don't want to go to Home Depot or your remote and would rather have it mailed to you I'll see what I can do about building all of this again down in this description um, so yeah also, if you want to look me up, uh, Patreon, I'll have that link in the description. Um, if you guys want to help out, uh, anything anything helps. Uh, I will be having some giveaways and stuff coming up soon. Uh, some of those giveaways may be for Patreon only, so definitely look into that. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you later. Bye.